That's because malicious code can hitch a ride on data transfers, infecting multiple endpoints as they access shared resources. It's basically a chain of bus tabs for malware. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the state of malware in the age of cloud computing. Now, the rapid evolution of technology has started an era dominated by cloud computing, where data and applications are no longer limited to local servers, but are stored in remote data centers. While cloud computing offers a lot of benefits, such as scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness, it also introduces new challenges particularly in the realm of cybersecurity, with malware being the most known among these threats. And so, in this video, we're going to be exploring the relationship between malware and cloud computing, taking a look at the unique challenges it brings and some steps you can take to protect your system in this digital landscape. Speaking of which, if you want to protect your devices from malware and other cyber threats, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews of antiviruses that I personally recommend, along with some discounts in the description down below so make sure to check those out. Okay, so before we get into cloud computing in relation to malware, we first need to understand what malware actually is. Basically speaking, malware, which is short for malicious software, refers to a broad category of software designed with the intent to harm or exploit computer systems, networks, or even users. This includes viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, and other types of malicious code. Malware can disrupt operations, compromise sensitive information, and wreak havoc on both individual users and organizations. Now, if you want to know more about the different types of malware and when each is used, I've made a separate video diving deep into this topic, which I'll leave in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Moving on to cloud computing, it has revolutionized the way businesses and individuals manage and access data. Instead of relying on local infrastructure, cloud services provide on-demand access to a shared pool of computing resources over the internet. This shift has allowed organizations to make operations much easier while reducing costs at the same time. With that being said, it has also opened new playgrounds for cyber threats, with malware continuously adapting to exploit vulnerabilities unique to cloud environments. So what exactly are some of the challenges cloud computing faces when it comes to malware? First of all, you have elasticity and scale. Cloud environments are designed to be elastic, allowing resources to scale up or down based on demand. While this scalability can be really beneficial, it also presents a challenge in terms of detecting and mitigating malware. That's because malicious activities can scale rapidly, making it difficult for traditional security measures to keep pace. Next, you have the shared responsibility model. Cloud computing follows a shared responsibility model, where the cloud service provider is responsible for securing the infrastructure, while you are responsible for securing your data and applications. This division of responsibilities introduces some other challenges as well, as misconfigurations or lapses on either side can create security gaps that malware can exploit. This basically means that you don't have full control over the security of your data in case the breach was on the provider's end. And at the same time, the provider can't do anything to help you in case the breach was on your end. Another challenge that is closely related to malware would be data mobility. Cloud computing facilitates the seamless movement of data across different locations and devices. While this makes things more accessible, it also creates opportunities for malware to spread. That's because malicious code can hitch a ride on data transfers, infecting multiple endpoints as they access shared resources. It's basically a chain of bus tabs for malware. And lastly, you have the complexity of multi-cloud environments. Many organizations adopt multi-cloud strategies to diversify the infrastructure and reduce their need for a single provider. However, managing security across multiple cloud platforms can get really complicated. As a result, malware can exploit the variance in security postures and configurations between different clouds and spread its devastating effects. Okay, so it is true that malware presents several challenges when it comes to cloud computing. However, this doesn't mean that it's completely vulnerable since there are a few steps you can take to mitigate its threats. Now, the most obvious, effective, and efficient one would be using a reliable antivirus. But there are other steps that we need to take along with having an antivirus to ensure you have complete protection. First, you have security education and awareness. As with any cybersecurity challenge, awareness is the first in line of defense. 
educating users, administrators, and developers about the risks of malware in the cloud, as well as best practices for securing cloud resources is really important. This includes promoting the role of strong authentication, regular updates, and adherence to security policies. Next, you have to adopt a zero trust security model, which is essential when it comes to cloud run services. This approach assumes that no entity, whether inside or outside the network, can be trusted by default. By verifying every user and device attempting to access resources, organizations can minimize the risk of malware infiltrating their networks. Another step to mitigate malware threats would be continuous monitoring and auditing. Here, automated auditing tools can help organizations track changes, identify misconfigurations, and ensure compliance with security policies, reducing the attack surface for malware. And finally, you have incident response planning. Despite the best preventive measures, incidents may still occur. Having a well-defined incident response plan tailored to cloud environments is just as important. This includes clear communication channels, isolation procedures, and strategies for rapid recovery to minimize the impact of malware attacks. And that's basically everything you need to know about cloud computing, the challenges it faces when it comes to malware, and the steps you need to take to get around these challenges. Don't forget that the most efficient and effective step to protecting yourself from malware and other similar cyber threats is to use a reliable antivirus. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check those out. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.